it was a rainy day. I mean, really rainy. Like, I cannot emphasize enough how much rain there was during this day. But that was okay, because I was being taken somewhere special. I was being taken to Castle Espy, a wild wetland trust set up that they have uh, essentially a very large duck pond uh, where they do a bit of conservation work with a lot of ducks. And this was a great opportunity to go and visit some of the hides that they have there that look out onto Strangford Luck as well as get up close and personal with a couple of ducks and geese and snap some cracking photos. So where best place to start then straight out the gate, uh, teeming with a wide variety of waterfowl life and yeah, great opportunity to set up the 150 to 600 millimeter sigma lens and get some fantastic slow motion shots of these waterfowl in a semi-natural habitat. And better than that, I was able to snap a few nice pictures as well. And the reason why I'm telling you all this is because this is sort of the theme of today's video. It's about creating your own opportunities whenever you have the chance to do so. And what I mean by that is that some people would argue that these photos are not authentic. Reason being is because you've set it up, you've set up the photo, you've went to a place where it provides an opportunity to get these photos, and it's not a real sort of perchance happening in the wild. But I would argue against that, and although some of that is technically true, yes, this place is set up, I know there's going to be ducks there, I don't need to do an awful lot of work to get a photograph of a duck, but at the same time, I still need to use the skills and skill set that I have in order to take a photo of these ducks. Sure, I could just go up and pull the trigger happy, t -t 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 snap a few photos and get the photos, but at the same time, there's unique opportunities in this setting. And you are in control of those unique opportunities. I mean, the photos that are on screen right now of this duck bathing itself, yeah, you could have captured that out in the wild, but I wouldn't have captured it in the detail or in the closeness or the familiarity that this duck has with its interactions with humans doing these sorts of things. Now, out in the wild, if you'd captured this happening at this close range, you'd be over the moon. You'd think it was absolutely fantastic. But I created this opportunity by taking advantage of the situation that I was in. And that is the sort of moral of this, because you are presented with a million and one opportunities every single day, whether you know it or not, and it's about taking control of those opportunities and creating something out of it. Besides, at the end of the day, unless you have a cultivated following of hundreds of thousands or millions of people, somebody's just going to look at this photo that you're posted, that you've put time and effort into, maybe double tap it, maybe even comment, maybe even share it at their friends at the high echelon reaches of the place. But at the end of the day, you're going to take much more value in that photo because you created it yourself rather than sharing it with other people online. And all a person has to do is online is look at it once, go, yeah, that's cool, move on. They don't care about the story that you've had to go through to get that photo. They just care whether or not it's a cool photo. And although that degrades your work, it doesn't take away from the fact that you took a cracking photograph by doing either a bit of effort or going to the lengths and extremes of effort to get the photograph. What I'm saying is take more value in your work rather than people's opinions. And the rewards are much more bountiful whenever you take more pride in your own work, having accomplished something that you wanted to accomplish, or having taken the photograph that you wanted to take, rather than creating content for other people. Create content for yourself. And that's sort of a fueling matter, a method that goes behind my little motto of just create something. Create it for yourself. Don't create it for other people, create it for yourself. Thanks very much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, please press the like button as it really does help out this channel. Think about subscribing as well. More of these types of videos and content is going to be produced on a regular basis. And if you want to say hey, use the comments section down below. 
As always, you can check out some of my photography work over on Instagram at Mr. Quinn Photography. And we've got a little community hashtag going on over there, Mr. Q Photos, if you want to post and share some of the photos with myself and other members of the community. But as always, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.